Hello and welcome to another Optics Trade Review. Today I have the incredibly stylish, elegant, modern Swarovski CL Companion binoculars here. Swarovski is one of the top three premium manufacturers of sports optics here in Europe. They boast a long and rich tradition. They are known for combining unique looks, top-notch optical components and excellent coatings. The CL Companion is their compact series of binoculars. They are bigger than the CL Pocket models, but smaller than every other binocular in their offer. So this is the second generation of the CL Companion. With these, Swarovski has decided to give a new touch, or so to say, to the compact binoculars market. They are also optically and ergonomically superior to the previous generation. If you take a good look at these, you can tell that it's all about style. Of course, they are also excellent optically, but Swarovski really paid attention to the outer looks with the companion. They are elegant, stylish, slim, compact and they are even available in two different colors. The first option is dark green, so this one, and anthracite. But it doesn't stop at binoculars with the companion. The users also have an option of choosing between three different accessory packs, making a choice based on personal style. I have one of the accessory packs here. This is the box that it comes in, it's called Wild Nature. So basically what you get in the Wild Nature accessory pack is a binocular bag and if you open it there are two straps inside made to go with the bag. This is the first one and this is the second one. So the Wild Nature accessory pack right here. Now this one was traditional, it is in Swarovski color and style, but there are also two others. The first one is called Urban, Urban Jungle and the second one is called Northern Lights. They are different but also very stylish. The Northern Lights pack is probably the most elegant out of the, out of the three, but it all depends on how each user sees it. So in each bag, like with this one that I showed you, you get a binocular bag a back carrying strap and a neck strap. And as I said, it's all about the appearance with the companion. That it also, the attention is paid to small details, such as, for example, the font used and the combination of silver and green, even under the eye cups, uh, is what makes the companion what it is. So, let's start with the physical properties now that we've said a little bit about what it's all about with the companion. It features 30 mm objective lens, which is why it's classified as compact. It is 13 cm long, 12 cm wide when fully extended, and weighs around 500 grams, half a kilo. It features a solid magnesium housing, which is durable and also contributes to lighter weight. It's also rugged and waterproof. There are two magnification configurations available, 8x30 and 10x30. This right here is the 8x30 model, so there is around 300, uh, 30 euros price difference between them and the 8x30 is great for those who want the more stable view because handshaking is not that noticeable with the 8x magnification than it is with the 10x and you also get a bigger field of view naturally because of the smaller magnification but you won't get to see as much details as with the 10 times magnification version, so it all depends on what you need the binoculars for. These are great for traveling, hiking, camping and other outdoor activities where a bigger binocular would be too heavy. Keep in mind that this weighs half a kilo or so and it's really compact, small, you can even stash it in a little bigger pocket for example, um, but it definitely fits. In every backpack. Now Swarovski improved edge-to-edge -edge sharpness from the previous generation. Optically these binoculars are exactly what you would expect from Swarovski. So they provide razor-sharp images, high in contrast and great color fidelity. They also feature a unique design and are really comfortable to use. I really like the ergonomics with them. The space in between here so the space here allows you to get a firm grip and hold it single-handedly. Hand uh, the surface is also reinforced with rubber 
And Swarovski came up with a nice solution for setting the interpopulary distance. There is a single bridge here, as you can see, with a sleek design. Uh, the bridge is of a single hinge type. And by using such a narrow bridge, they made the, the device look more appealing. Uh, but also, they've also cut the weight down. So it's now lighter than it would be, for example, if it was a, I don't know, double hinge design. Or similar. Then there are also thumb indents here for an even more comfortable hold and an even better optical and user experience. What I also like is the large forgiving eye box that these binoculars offer and they also have a 132 meters of field of view on 1000 meters which I would say is pretty nice for such a compact binocular. Focusing also works really well. They're made in Austria the label is in a really subtle spot, so you uh, don't really see it unless you know whether it is another fine detail with the companion. The diopter setting has also been changed, so it is now integrated into the focusing knob right here. It is no longer on the right ocular as it was on the previous generation. Now, some people don't like the right ocular diopter position because you can for example, smash your binoculars against something and the ring will move and you will have to set the diopter again. Now, the diopter setting on the companion, now it, it, where it is now, you will not smash it uh, against some, even if you, I don't know, hit him against something, the diopter will stay in its position, but it takes some time getting used to. So it's not my favorite solution, but it works. So if you're viewing, it's really difficult to set the diopter while viewing you have to really get used to because you have to press this button in and then set it. But a definitely, definitely an interesting solution. Um, compared to the previous generation, Swarovski also found a new solution for the strap attachment. Now there are two buttons on the side which work better and are also aesthetically more appealing. And I'm also quite a fan of these eye cups. So they click in place nicely and they will not move down unless you rotate them. Uh, so if you try to push them in, they will hold place really nicely. Perhaps the downside is that there are only two positions. I would perhaps expect a position more so that there will at least be an in-between position from a binocular in this price class. Then there are the rubber cups for the protection of objective lenses so that you won't get scratches on uh, the objective lenses. Also there is mm, the ocular protection. You just put it on the oculars like so. Um, then the price is somewhere from around 1050 to 1150 euros. It all depends uh, on which type of the accessory pack you choose. So for the Northern Lights accessory pack you have to pay 80 euros extra for Urban Jungle, 40 euros extra while there is no paying extra for the Wild Nature accessory pack. We could say that this is the standard pack. Swarovski provides 10 years of warranty for these binoculars and in the box you'll also get, okay I already mentioned the ocular rubber caps, the objective ones are already on the device. You will get a Swarovski optic lens cloth, a instruction manual, very simple in many languages, uh, really just enough information so that there is not too much text inside, and of course this addition. But you have to know that with Swarovski, it's all about the details, especially with the companion. You get this nice box in which it's really, uh, it's difficult to show you right now, but it's all about details, even with the box. It's really carefully, uh, carefully put in everything. And with other binoculars, typically the manufacturers don't pay that much attention to the box itself because, okay, they think it's not important, but Swarovski really gives you, even the opening of the box is a unique experience um, that you will never forget. 
Okay, now we've come to the end of this review. Um, as usual, we will now say, re do a quick recap on what's really great, what could be improved. Now, these are, I like, what I like about them is that they're very stylish and modern looking, and there is atten attention paid to the smallest, smallest details. Also, Swarovski didn't forget about the ergonomics. It is easy to hold them, even with one hand. They have a forgiving eye box, nice focusing mechanism, great quality eye cups, thumb indents, rubberized surface, so the ergonomics are really taken care of. And furthermore, they do offer really good optics for a compact type binocular. A great package. Now what I don't like as much is the diopter setting location. Okay, I like that they moved it from the right ocular into the center, but some other binoculars have this done more cleverly. You either have to, I don't know, push out the focusing knob and then set it, push it back. There could have been a better solution for setting the diopter. What I also think could be added is an extra eye cup position in between the so now we have two. The one in between would be a great addition. Um, because everyone likes their binoculars eye cups set differently, uh, I, for most cases, usually don't take them all the way out. I like to leave them a little bit in. So for people like that, it would be great to have another position. Also, some people might find 1,050 euros to be a little bit expensive for a compact type binocular. But you have to know that this is a Swarovski binocular. It is optically on a very, very high level and even ergonomically so. And also details paid to the smallest, uh, attention paid to the smallest details. Now to conclude, I would say that this is one of the best choices for those who are looking for a compact, light, high quality binocular and also care about the outer appearance and style. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any additional questions, make sure to leave a comment down in the comment section. Leave a like, um, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and see you next time. Goodbye.